How goes it folks? It's Jeff with 9to5Mac. I run my 15 inch MacBook Pro at default resolution, which is 1440 by 900. Of course, that's running in high DPI mode, uh, but it gives you the nice sharp text. It gives you text that's big enough to read. However, when you're using an app like Final Cut Pro 10, something with a timeline, it makes it a little difficult to work with because there's just not enough resolution there. It, it's doable for sure, but wouldn't it be nice if you could automatically switch resolution to something a little higher when using specific apps such as Final Cut Pro 10? Well, we're gonna use an app called Switch Res X to do just that. And this is a paid application, but it does come with a free trial. You can try it out, see if it works for you. Once you install it, you're gonna find it in the system preferences. You just open that up, and then you're gonna see where it has this little menu here. You wanna click Applications, and then click where it says Monitor Applications. And now we're just gonna add Final Cut Pro to its list of monitored applications so that once the app launches, it'll automatically adjust the resolution. So we select Final Cut Pro 10 here. We click Create New Display Set. We give it a name. I'm just gonna name it Final Cut Pro 10. All right, and then in the resolution box, I'm just gonna bump that up to the highest high DPI setting, which is 1920 by 1200. Uh, and that may differ on your machine, but for my machine, that is the highest high DPI setting. Click OK twice, go to file, save the settings, and then you want to click the about switch res X and then quit the daemon and then launch the daemon just like that. And now you're going to be able to launch Final Cut Pro 10 and you're going to notice that the resolution automatically changes just like that. See it? So the resolution changed, now it's running at 1920 by 1200. You see a lot more real estate there available for our timeline. Makes it much easier to edit. And then once I do close out of Final Cut Pro 10, it's gonna switch back to the default resolution, which is more ideal for reading and writing and things like that, the 1440 by uh, 900. So I'm gonna just close out here. You see the resolution change just like that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5.